Do you want to use Stable Diffusion for free? Let me show you how. Hello, my friends. How are you doing? In my last video, I showed you Lexica art. A lot of people told me that's not good. You should go to Playground where you can generate 1000 images every day for free. So let me show you how this page works. You can see here you have a rather simple interface. They have a rising gallery here at the start where you can see really, really interesting images that are very, very beautiful. And by the way, I want to give a shout out out to Bella who helped me understand this page a lot better. You should follow her. I will link her account below. And as you can see, she creates really amazing works that are just created with Playground, no other software used. And Vinci is another amazing creator on Playground. Check out his works. He is also a follower of my channel. So let's get into how this actually works. There are two ways to create images here. First of all, you can click on any of these images. It will give you information about that image. And here you have a remix button that will load all of these settings. Now here's a fair warning when you do that. On Playground, people use a workaround to hide their original prompts for the works so they can display them without giving away their techniques. So these remixes might not always work. If you get bad results, that is probably the reason. The other way to use this page is to click here on the create button. And when you do this, you will realize that it has a very nice UI that is simple to understand, but at the same time is simplified. So you don't get all of these settings you usually have with stable diffusion. Let's go over the interface real quick. On the left side, you have your prompt here. And then below that, when you turn on the negative prompt, you also have a field for negative prompt that is going to extend and hide the more text you're writing. Below that, they have something called filter. I'm pretty sure these are embeddings. When you click on them, you get a selection of all these different styles that you can apply to your image. Now you can only choose one at a time and I don't see any way to set the strength of these filters. And below that you find image to image, which you can use in here to either upload an image from your hard drive or you can also paint an image in here that you can then use as an inspiration for the AI. And when you scroll down a little bit, you have here the brush size and you have the brush color. So you see, I can now paint in a different color. You have an eraser also, and you have an undo function. When you're finished, when you're finished, simply click on do. And if you don't want to use that drawing anymore, you can simply click here on the dress icon and then this is removed again. Now on the right side, you can choose from different models. You have Stable Diffusion 1.5, Stable Diffusion 2.1 and DALI 2. DALI 2 can only be used with a premium subscription though. Below that, you have a selection of dimensions that you can use. They are fixed with just these six selections. But when you have a paid plan, you get more resolutions and you also get higher resolutions to choose from. Below that, you have the prompt guidance, which is usually known as the CFG scale. And below that, you have quality and details, which is usually known as steps. On the free plan, you can use the full quality on your first 50 images. After that, it is limited to 50, which is is also the recommended number of steps. Below that you have the seed number which you can either randomize or you can set your own seed or use a seed from another image. And below that we have advanced options which only gives you a choice of the samplers. Now the samplers here are a little bit limited. It is not as much as you would get in automatic 1111 but the choice is still pretty good and you get some of the most famous ones like Euler, Hoyn and DPM2. Then you have the choice for the number of images, which you can choose from one to four images to be rendered at the same time. And below that, you can set it to a private session only with a paid plan. But there is more to be discovered here. So let's click here on our profile image. And this will bring you to your own gallery. Here you see the works that you have created in the past. You see, I'm just experimenting here, trying to figure out how this page is working. Some of the results are beautiful, some of them not so great. Now, one of the most amazing things on Playground is that when you click on your image, down here with these three points, when you click on them, you have the choice to make any of your images private. So you don't have to delete them and still can hide them from the other users. You can, of course, also remove the image if you want to. On top of that, you can, of course, download the image and you can copy the link to share the image with other people on the Internet because this is public. It's open. 
A nice thing here is also when you scroll down, you will see more images in the same style. So you can explore that style and look at other prompts and other images that people have created. People can also follow you and of course you can follow them. Now, one of the things that I don't really like here is when you click on one of these images, there is no way from here to get into the in paint function, into the face restore or into the upscaling. So for that, you would have to download the image and then upload it again. I find that a little bit cumbersome, but for now the workaround works. But while you are on the generate page and you have just made that image, you can still hover over that image and have here additional functions. For example, in paint to fix several parts or exchange parts in the image with a mask. You can use this image for image to image, which is very nice. You can create variations of that image, do face restore and upscale to four times. Now again with face restoration and upscaling, there's a little bit of a thing here where when you click on that, it will create a face restore for you in very quick time. But the problem is that this face restore is not saved in your gallery. So you have to download the image and then you have to upload it again if you want to have it in your gallery. And this is also where the hiding of your own prompts comes into play with this workaround. Because now what you can do is you click on generate. So you have a completely empty setting. Go down here to upload the image you have created. Set the image strength to 100. Set the ratio to the same ratio. Enter any text up here and click on generate. And because the image strength is on 100, it will generate the exact same image. But now in the information down here, you have changed the text in this case to just by Olivio. So when I go back to my gallery, you can see that this image here just has that prompt and no other information in here. Now let's have a look at the pricing options of this page. So you have a free plan here and this is actually enough for most people because you can see here right now you can generate 1000 images per day. So this gives you a lot of leeway to experiment with stable diffusion for no cost and no hardware use of your own gear. On top of that, you can also use all of the images commercially. I would think that this applies to all of the images on the page because of the way that the stable diffusion license is set up so that all of the images you create with the stable diffusion models are actually public domain. Then of course, when you have the $15 per month plan, you can create more images without waiting in a higher quality, in a higher resolution, and you have a permanent private mode. Now I didn't see any delays for my images. The only thing I often saw was when I clicked on remix that I got an API error. This can often be fixed by setting the seat to randomize and then clicking on generate again one or two more times until this error is resolved. On top of that, you can have a DALI 2 add-on that is $10 per month, and then you can generate up to 800 images with DALI, and you can buy up to 8,000 images per month if you want to have that. It also says here that this is the cheapest option to create DALI images. I'm not sure if that's true, and it doesn't have any watermark on that. So overall, Playground is a pretty solid and very affordable, if not cheap service. I think 1000 images per day is more than enough for most people. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.